Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, right, let's uh, get a review on the go here. It's Saturday. I've slept in today, so I'm only going to be able to do this one review. Uh, now, now it is no secret that I love squonking. Uh, squonking, uh, for in most normal circumstances, is a device like this. This is mine, something. Something by Dibby, P. Dibby. Uh, and, and basically you have a little bottle in here with juice and up here you put your atty, your dripper on it and you push the, this in and it squishes, <laughs> squishes, it squirts um, liquid into your dripper. So rather than having to get a, a bottle of juice and drip, 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 you just push that and that's you done. Squonking has been around for a long, long time. Uh, well, as far as e-cig history goes. Uh, and it's certainly last year it seemed to gain in popularity again. Uh, now, they normally come in that kind of shape. And this one that I'm going to show you is by an Italian company, G&G Lab. And this is the Promec. This is a tube mod. This is totally different to what you normally see. And, and I love things that are different. And this is different. There is a few things I'm not impressed with, but I'll cover them in the review. Right, I'm going for another quick vape and then we'll go in for close-ups. You would have seen a splash screen there and it would have covered all the, the technical specs and you know prices, dimensions and things like that. Uh, but uh, essentially this is all 316 stainless steel and naval brass. What you're looking at here, this is just the tube mod itself. Now it comes with a 510, 510 top cap as well so you can just use it as a 14500 tube mod if you want. Uh, but it's very similar uh, to the Nemesis in this respect. Uh, you have your big locking ring here. And hopefully you can see here it's laser engraved. We've got Promec going on here. And these little indicators here, quite like them, uh, quite a nifty touch because that's the locking ring done right up. And that just spins around like so. Top cap, we have a 510 adjuster. Uh, so you can adjust it with this here. And then you have an adjuster here for battery rattle. Uh, you do have to have it out quite a bit, but yeah, it's not a problem. It does work and it does the job well. All the machining, uh, I have no issues with the machining here at all. Uh, quite impressed with it actually. So we'll just pop that on there like so. Here's the, the switch and uh, like I said it is very reminiscent of a Nemesis switch. It is a spring in here and we have this big brass contact. And yes we do have a pin in there, you know, the same as a Nemesis. Uh, I have no issues with this at all. Uh, it does the job and it works very well. Well, tell a lie, I'll come back to that. And on the bottom we have G&G Lab made in Italy. This will just screw on here. And that takes the slack out of any battery as well. You just screw it up until you get your battery slack. And you can lock it with a locking ring there. Threads all nice and smooth. The only thing that annoys me sometimes, and this is really bad, uh, but when you put a line on here for the locking ring, it doesn't always line up with that little symbol. Sometimes you have to give it an extra little twist, and it gets there. So that's the tube mod. Now, if we wanted to run it as a squonker, all we do is take this bit off here, the top cap. So this is the squonking section, and we actually do have, you know, this is an adjustable five our adjustable pin here again for taking out the battery rattle. 
there's our button and uh, you'll have to excuse me I've got a little bit of juice in here but if I take this off I can pull this out and there we go we have a bottle of juice so you just put your bottle of juice in there you'll see hopefully see the button pushing in there so that button pushes that and pushes juice up into your rebuildable drip anatomizer very easy to take this off, I've no issues with that whatsoever uh, naval brass going on again uh, we have this little contact just in there hopefully you can see that little brass contact in there and that makes contact with this brass piece here and that's what completes the circuit uh, but I'm, I'm dripping juice everywhere here the only thing I, I keep forgetting to do is when I put the bottle in you know when I push this down sometimes it doesn't want to go in it takes a couple of pushes and that will force the button out and then just screw that in and that's you ready to go take your rebuildable drip anatomizer remember you have to have a hole in the bottom of it to, in order to squonk and that's you, good to go pop that one here and it's squonking time Right, let's get down to brass tacks here. Uh, price, uh, it is 109 euros. Now, this is a 14500 device only. You will have to accept the fact that your battery is not going to last long. Uh, it's as simple as that. It's, it's a given with 14500 batteries. There are a lot of people that like 14500 mods, myself included, and this is... Uh, I mean it's 316 stainless steel naval brass the thread and everything it is it's beautifully made that there's I can't take that away from it it is beautifully made and it performs really well too it's a 17 millimeter device and you know if you're using squonking at it, then the, the the recess cup up the top is 15 mil in diameter so you're going to need something that's 15 mil. Um, it, I made it out to be 15.2, so you'll probably get a 15 mil rebuildable drip anatomizer in there as long as it's a squonker. Uh, it, it pushes the juice up, it sucks down the excess. I don't have any problems with juice not making it into the dripper itself. Uh, as a squonker, it performs 100% bang on. Uh, the, the button on the side does what it's supposed to do. You can buy spares from the site. Uh, there's support for it. Yeah. I mean, I think this is quite a new company. And they're, they're, they seem to be doing it right. It is 130 mils in length. And that's not including the, squat, the atty on top or the drip tip. You have to remember that even though it's that length, it still has that bottle of juice inside. So it's not like this is just a mod. You've got a bottle of juice in there as well, remember. So that's me getting dry in there just now. So just push the button, hold it in. Let go. I can hear it sucking the, the excess back down and... That's me. Uh, obviously vapour production and all that kind of jazz, you know, that's dependent on the, the atty that you put on it. Uh, but most people that know about squonking or dripping will, you know, they know all that. Pros and cons. The cons, the, the cons or issues that you may have. First of all, you have to accept it uses 14500 batteries. That's it. Um, the lifespan isn't great if you want to use this all day depending on how much you vape you'll have to take a little box full of 1400 and 500 14500 batteries out with you um i don't have an issue with that because well i work in a vape shop the button on it is some it 
does require a firm press. So sometimes, I mean, that's just a light touch. But you have to make sure that you're pushing it slap bang in the middle. It's not... It's like the original Nemesis switch. Great switch as long as you push it slap bang in the middle. No problems there at all. But it has to be slap bang in the middle. Remember that. Um, outside that, I have no issue with it. I think it's well priced for the materials. The fact it's something kind of different. Um, I think it's very well priced myself. And if you were a squonking fan uh, and you wanted a, a tube squonker, then I don't think you'd be disappointed with this. I would love to see an 18350 version of this. I really would. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, positives have to be the build quality, the top end materials, the price, uh, the presentation, the little box that comes in, the fact that the company is backing this up with spares and support and not just, you know, and they're accessible as well. It's not like you can't get a hold of them. That's another big thumbs up from me. Uh, Ultimately, at the end of the day, this comes down to if you want to try squonking or if you're a squonking fan. If you have no interest in squonking or rebuildable drippers, then this is no good to you. You're not going to like it. I I, I really like it. I really like it a lot. Uh, it's just nice to see something which, for me, is totally new and different. And not just new and different for the sake of being new and different, but new and different it works. There's been a lot of new and different things on the vape scene that are utter garbage, but this isn't. I'm going to have one last little vape and then I think I'll just call it a day in this one. I have to say the Cyclone is still an awesome dripping atty. It really is. Tight airflow, tiny little deck, but the flavour is just wow, just awesome. Um, and I really like this. Did I tell you I like this? I won't tell you how much I like this. Um, the only thing is, I will say, if you're a little bit OCD, then I hate the lines. I hate the join line. I mean, like the squonking section's got a little mark on it and to line up with the main tube. And if you don't get your battery lined up, and if you don't get your locking ring lined up, then if those little marks are just a fraction out, it's really annoying. Uh, but that's perfect now. I kind of get wound up about that. How sad is that? The only thing I didn't mention, the I think the, the strip that's inside here is actually copper that runs up the side of the body to make the contact between the top and the bottom. Pretty sure that's copper. Um, which just, I mean, that yeah. Enough. You've heard enough from me. Uh, two thumbs up from me. Love it to bits. Well priced and whilst it not might, appeal, might not appeal to a huge market, those that it does appeal to I think will be very very happy with it. And that's it from me. Thank you to the guys at the lab for sending this on and uh, sorry it's taken so long to get around to the review guys uh, but thank you once again to you as always. Thank you for watching and uh, that's it. Take care, guys. We'll catch up soon. Bye now.